situation, a bad situation, but I'm coming to tell you right now, in spite of what you went through, God woke you up this morning. And God woke you up this morning, and you got up out of bed this morning, and you got in your car, or got on your bike, and you got here this morning. So that lets me know already, you've already overcome that thing that God took you out. Sunday of October, 23 years ago, a young preacher stood for the first time declaring the gospel. Jesus. And that song was a song that I requested before my first sermon, 23 Praise years ago, the third Sunday of October. My God. Hallelujah. For the last 23 years of my life, I've dedicated to the gospel. If you would stand with me, the book of Mark, chapter 9. Book of Mark, chapter 9. Thank you, Lord. We talk from the subject today of addicted no more. My God. Addicted no more. Mark, chapter 9. If you would join me. Help me, God. At around verse number 28. We'll start there. Mark chapter 9, verse number 28. I actually jumped up to verse 27. We'll have a good starting point. But Jesus took him by the hand mm -hmm. and lifted him to his feet. Mm -hmm. And he stood up. Mm -hmm. After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, why couldn't we drive it out? Jesus. Jesus replied in conclusion, verse number 29, he replied, this can only be done or come out of prayer and fasting. Take your seats and declare with me, your man of God addicted no more. I need you to keep your Bibles open to the ninth chapter of Mark. We will be going line by line, precept by precept from verse 16 all the way the conclusion of verse 29 well, we're going to walk you through the word of God so I pray you will allow me not to entertain you but to empower you Amen. and enrich Amen. you with the word of God Amen. Mark chapter 9 it's a very familiar text but I'm going to show you from an angle you may not have dissected it from before Mark chapter 9 deals with a man who loves his son and his son has a condition, a illness, and addiction. There's something wrong with his son. Many of us have loved ones, and maybe the loved one that we love the most is the man or the woman in the mirror, and there's something that is broken, there's something that is wrong, and we've sought help from everywhere, but we continue to have the same issue and the same condition, because some things can only be done through prayer and fasting. So let's walk through this ninth chapter of Mark, beginning with verse number 16. But let, let me tell you, in the beginning, in the, in the beginning, in the beginning, my, my, one of my favorite movies, and yes, I am saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, but one of my favorite movies, if you've been around me in a while, is New Jack City. And in this movie, New Jack City, Chris Rock plays this character called Pookie. And Pookie has a drug addiction. And Pookie was in therapy and he was talking to the therapist and the therapist said, don't leave until something happens. But Pookie said, what you don't understand is sometimes when I'm minding my own business, sometimes when I'm trying my best to do the right thing, Thing. Pookie kind of sounded like the Apostle Paul. The good I would, but evil is always present. 
Pookie said, what you don't understand is sometimes in the middle of the night when I'm by myself, my mind is on something else, but it just starts calling my name. And have you ever been under an influence that sometimes it just calls your name? You're trying to mind your own business. You're trying to do the right thing, but that addiction, that voice just keep calling you back into that intertwined mess. Have you ever been in something that had a, such a strong hold on you? It was like it knew you on a first name yeah, basis. You yeah. were having conversations yeah. with it. Oh, good yeah. God. Yeah. And Pookie eventually would lose his life because of his addiction. Mm -hmm. Now, I know church folks, you sanctified folks, say, well, that's just a movie, Pastor. No, that's but this is the reality that I come that's to introduce right. you to yeah. on the day. Yeah. This is the reality that I come to disturb your comfort zone Amen. with. Yes, Amen. Pookie was a character in a movie, but how many Pookies are in your life? Right. How many Pookies you love? How, how many of us will lose our lives, lose our finances, lose our families, lose our freedoms because we have an addiction that we have not been able to beat, so the addiction is beating us. Yes, Pookie may have been a character, but baby, I come to tell you, there's a Pookie in your church. And you can deny it all you want to. You might even sleep with Pookie. You may have raised Pookie. And maybe Pookie, not Pookie. Maybe Pookie is sister Pookie. But there is somebody in your life, if it's not you, there's somebody you're real close to, somebody you're corrected to, somebody you are connected to has an addiction. And I'm declaring today, they will or you will be addicted no more. There's power in the name of Jesus. Preach cute little sermons. Amen. When I got people dying and going to hell all around me, people are struggling. So it's my responsibility as a voice of this generation to give you what you need to escape all bondage. So, so what is an addiction? It's the excessive use or dependency of or on anything, including, get this, get this list, food. See, we, we, we tend to go straight to the drugs. But the food, so, see, see, sometimes in the middle of the night, a nest is crunchy, boy, be calling your name. <laughs> and if you are a diabetic, that's just like being on crack, because you're slowly killing yourself. If you have some health issues, and, and you eating six donuts before bed, that's... Come on! Uh-huh, 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 Watch this. Sex is an addiction. Amen. It does, it, 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 uh, don't, on, don't, don't make me go there. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to be clean. Don't, don't, but, but, uh. If you keep waking up and not knowing her name, you addicted, brother. Now, alcohol is an addiction. Smoking is an addiction. Caffeine is an addiction. Sugar is an addiction. Wow, sisters, watch this. You 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 call it midnight madness. Or, 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 or the blast sale. But shopping is an addiction. See, if every time you get depressed, you go shopping. You addicted to shopping. Shopping has become your drug. Especially when you're spending your mortgage, your light bill money, and your rent money on some red bottoms. Yeah, of course, you know, drugs are, are an addiction. Yeah. So, so, so why? Why do people become addicted? Let's listen to this. Listen to this. This is from the National Academy of Science. Listen to this. Many addicts have their roots in painful childhood experiences. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not blaming mama nor daddy, but I'm telling you the, the genesis of many addictions. But, but at some point, you got to stop blaming mama or daddy. So let me set this record straight off the bat. It's not mama's fault, not daddy's fault if you steal the way you are. That's right. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. And that power is not based on who my mama nor my daddy is. That power is based on who my father is. That's right. Come on, Pastor. But many addictions start at the childhood level of bad experiences. Watch this. This study says that children, and I want you to raise your hand if this applies to you, children are more likely to end up addicted. Children are more likely to be addicted if one of these things took place. If they were physically abused. If you or somebody you know as a child, somebody you love real close to, was physically abused as a child, raise your right hand and keep it up until I ask you to put it down. If you or someone you know was physically abused, raise your right hand and keep it up until I ask you to put it down. 
The next thing it says, not just physical abuse, but those who were humiliated as children. If you were humiliated as a child or someone you loved dearly was humiliated as a child, raise your left hand and keep your hand up until I ask you to put it down. So some of you should have your right hand and left hand up now. Now the third category, it says, those who are likely to become addicted, children who were constantly lied to. If as a child you were constantly lied to, they want you to stand up right now and remain standing until I ask you to sit down. So you should be having your right hand up if you were physically abused, your left hand up if you were humiliated and you've been lied to constantly as a child, I need you to stand up right now. We wouldn't really pass the true test <laughs> because your super spiritual thank those who were honest enough to, to go along with this test. You, you may be seated, you may put your hands down. Many of you, because of the spirit of fear, pride, because that, that, there's no way you're telling me that you were not constantly lied to as a child. There's no way you're telling me that you were not physically abused or someone that you love was physically abused or that you were never humiliated constantly as a child. And if you were not in any of those categories, I praise God for your story. But the reality of it is most Americans fall in one of these three categories. And in the fourth category, I didn't even want to get into your business, the fourth category is those who had parents who were addicted are more likely themselves to become addicted also. Four out of five children who come under a household with an alcoholic parent are more than likely to become an alcoholic. So if you beat all statistics as far as growing up, I give God much praise to you. But for those who are willing to come through the struggle and overcome the struggle, that's who I'm talking to today. So some of you have already tuned me out because you can't deal with reality. You, you want to stay in the closet. You want to hide your issues. You want to pretend like everything has always been grand in your life. Well, fool, if everything was grand in your life, why are you still stuck in that thing you're stuck in? Well, the spirit of the Lord is that's freedom, that's liberty. The devil will use your past to hold you in bondage until you realize and recognize I'm not where I was. Yes, I was there, but I'm not where I was. So where I was now becomes my story and my testimony so God can get the glory. But your shame lets the devil win. And I refuse to allow Satan to win on my watch. So for those who are undercover, you really don't want to talk about your stuff, I'll talk about my stuff for you. The United States government, who just came off a major shutdown, and through my research, I understand why they shut down. They spent one trillion, get this, one trillion dollars on this so-called war on drugs. But I, 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 I haven't seen that one class offered in my hood where I grew up at. So I don't know what a, what a war was fought at, but it wasn't fought in the inner city that I come from. But the government spent one trillion dollars fighting a so-called war on drugs, where libraries in inner city schools are empty. Tell it. Fifteen million. Oh, that, 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 that's that's. You know, every, every church has, has, has a group that you know that they, they go after a group that you'll get fishing for a pound fish. Fifteen million Americans. I think I may grow this group, hush. 15 million Americans suffer a struggle with sex addiction. Come on. Oh Come That's on. a mega church right there. Come on. 15 million. So the statistics and the odds say that somewhere on your road, somebody hooked. Jesus. Come on, Pastor. Uh, y'all faking me today, boy. On, I, I thought I had a real congregation. I, I thought I had some folks that were really set free and really in tune. But, but you, some of you got so tired. Oh, I hope he don't. Oh, 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 just, just hurry up and get through with this stuff. But the reality of it is, this stuff has been dogging you. This stuff has been keeping you. This stuff has been stopping you from reaching your full potential. And who I love you too much to see you fail on my watch. God got too much for you to be stuck in position. Jesus. Yeah, 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 Lord, I believe, Lord. Yeah. Oh, yes, Lord, God. I believe. said if you believe. Yeah. I believe. Oh, time's so yeah, 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 Lord. But look, look at the father, the father replies. He says, I do believe. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But help me with my unbelief. Help me with my unbelief. I believe you can do it. But when it gets personal, see, it's one thing to believe God is good, but when but, but I'm going through hell, it's hard sometimes. I knew I heard your 
testimony. I heard your praise report. I heard about what God did for him and what God did for her. But, and I shouted about that. I just didn't agree about that. But when it came to me and my son, it's a little harder when it's my struggle. See, I can believe God for your struggle, but can I believe God for my struggle? I can believe God for your deliverance, but can I believe God for my deliverance? See, it's a whole lot easier to pray for somebody than to pray for yourself. But I gotta be somebody in here that made their mind up. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, no matter, no matter, no matter, no matter, I believe God is able. And I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna throw in the towel. I'm gonna stand in the gap for myself. I'm gonna stand in the gap for my loved one. And I'm gonna keep believing that this thing God said, everything God said, I believe it. I wish I had somebody up in here that made their mind up. I'm getting ready to bust to the race, the curse is wide open. I'm getting ready to be set free. I'm coming out and I'm bringing everything I love with me. I'm escaping this addiction. I'm escaping this bondage. I'm going to break this spirit. I'm coming out. I
some things, some things can't be done through singing. Some things can't be done through protocol. Some things can't be done through denominational influence. Some things can't be done through titles. Some things take more than a collar and a holler. Sometimes you got to humble yourself and fast and pray. What Jesus was saying, for those who really believe, prayer still works. And I'm getting ready to leave you now. But I need you to know prayer still works. I need you to know there's power in prayer. And I'm getting ready to call you right now. I don't want nobody joining me at the altar. This is about me and my assignment. And if you're here today, I don't care what your title is. I don't care how long you've been serving in the kingdom. But you need to be set free. I challenge you to join me right here. Because Jesus said some things can only be done through prayer. And I want to touch and agree with you. I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to stand right here. And every man and woman that comes, I'm going to lay my hands on you. And touch and agree. Addicted no more. I don't care the nature of the addiction. I don't care the root of the addiction. I'm holding out right here, right now. It will die at this altar. It will dry up. It will drain up. It will be suffocated by my faith. Am I God? No. But I'm representing the kingdom right now. This ain't about EA at all. This is about my assignment and the anointing on my life to be an ambassador for this generation. So when I touch and agree with you, my objective is not for you to fall down. But if you fall, that's okay. My objective is for the addiction to fall down and for you to step on his head and call it no more. Addicted no more. I pray you're touching and agreeing right now. I pray the atmosphere has been set and the spirit is right. When I touch you, I touch and agree and addicted no more. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus.
break every chain. The Lord is high above the heavens, the Lord is high above the heavens. and His glory above the nations. And His glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens, the Lord is high above the heavens. and His glory above the nations. And His glory above the nations. Oh, give God the highest praise. Let us exalt His name and all the.